All right, we are back with the new castle career mode. So we are into the month of December. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this month into two episodes. So in this one, we're gonna sim West Ham, play Liverpool, play Leicester, and then play Wolves in the cup. And then in the next episode, I think we'll play Spurs, play United, sim Fulham and Villa, and then move into the January transfer window. So we could make some signings in the next episode, maybe. So we have to start thinking about transfers we want to bring in so players that i'm looking at for january are madueke from psv he just looks like a beast we could not sign him in the summer window but now we can and he'd only be 8 to 11 million which is pretty good and then from the comments i've added tomiyasu that's probably not how you pronounce that name joe willick who is now on loan at newcastle in real life so he's on our shortlist being scouted and then limer from leipzig also was suggested in the comments even though he might be a bit too expensive i'm not sure but this window is approaching fast so we have 13.25 5 million we gotta start thinking about transfers but in this episode three games two very tough games and then one cup game i feel like we're pretty far in the care about cup so because we've made it this far i want to win the cup i want to try and get a trophy with newcastle i think this is the quarterfinals because the semis are usually in january so i think this wolves game is the quarterfinals but first game is west ham away from home so for this game wilson comes in at striker dennis mann for nelson on the right child hurry for hayden and then longstaff for basuma we're gonna quick sim this one this might be a tough game i'm not sure if our team could win this in a quick sim but we will find out this game is gonna be a 1-1 draw Shar scoring for us so you know away from home that's not a bad result i will take that all right so frazier is finally ready to turn to a cam so we'll see how that affects his overall still a 79 it's still in the midfield so i did not expect a huge huge jump but i really like him at camp so happy that he's finally changed into a cam so now instead of like a plus two bonus now he has a plus six bonus playing at cam so even after that draw we're still in third place and aston villa are in second place so yeah us two these two teams have overachieved a lot but our next game is against liverpool and i don't really know how this game's gonna go cpu has been playing really bad recently so will that improve in this episode we'll find out all right so full strength first team from us where liverpool looks like the only change is saul comes in in their midfield the new signing so we're still in ultimate still on competitor mode on same sliders so yeah i don't know how this game's gonna go but like i said we will find out there is the man in form joshua king four in his last three games i still don't understand how he's doing so good for us i mean he's 77 now but i really did not expect him to be this good in the series i thought he'd be a backup a backup to joe ellington like a backup to the backup but he has turned out to be our best striker at least in form frazier into joshua king the man in form give that to reese nelson we can drive along this wing and try and cross that in and that is an interesting cross Saul's trying to play that to Firmino he does play it to him but that is a good challenge from Shar. a very good challenge all right Basuma the thing about Liverpool and FIFA is they play with a very high line which is usually their downfall I'm gonna try to cut inside with Reese Nelson Joshua King and try and go for a shot Van Dyke blocks that that is back into Trent, into Firmino, and he flips the ball up and scores on the volley. It's not even Firmino, it's Thiago. What am I saying? I got it wrong? I have to see this again. What kind of shot was this? Okay, so ball is passed in. He literally just flips it up over, I think it's Shar or Brandon Williams. Flips it up, and then, I don't even know what that is, but... That is Liverpool's first goal of this game. All right, 28th minute. They are 1-0 up. We haven't had that many attacking chances in this game. They have dominated possession, and because of it, they are 1-0 up. Oh, Sadio Mane is so quick. It's going to be a tough mark for Manquillo, but he does pretty well there. All right, Brandon Williams. Trent is not that good defensively, so we can try and exploit that with St. Maximin. Exactly perfect there into reese nelson joshua king oh it didn't even let me select him that was such a good cross if it let me select a josh king i maybe could have gone for that suma nelson this is joshua king just can't get the shot away over their center backs Firmino plays that to salah they're looking dangerous i don't like this they're already one goal up we do not want to go down two goals anderson to tiago the score of the first goal i don't know what happened there but we luckily luckily my keeper saved it and that is the end of the first half all right they should have gone up 2-0 right there they really should have we got very very lucky feels like we're gonna need a bit more luck 
to get back in this game. Iago Aspas is in for Firmino. Why do Liverpool always seem to sign him in FIFA 21? I feel like in every career mode they have him. Saul too. They signed Saul in the series. I feel like in all my other series, they've signed Saul too. Very, very funny, but that is a good steal by Nelson. All right, we need to get back in this game. All right, their passing is almost becoming too much to handle right here. Saul into Iago Aspas, and he finishes that. Dubravka should have saved that though. It was very good passing, but I feel like our keepers should have done better. Let's take a look at this. It's very good passing. It's almost just too much to handle. It's a very light finish. I guess I guess it was hit just perfectly. It's pretty close to the goal, so the keeper doesn't have time to react to it, I guess. All right, so 64th minute, we are down at 2-0. This game has not gone to plan. We could still maybe salvage a point here. We still could maybe get a point. King to Frazier. Try and get that to King. Goes for a shot. I thought that was in. One of our first very decent chances in this game. King just does a little turn. It's a pretty good shot, but it is pretty far wide as well. King Frazier's trying to make a run. Henderson. I think that's Henderson marking him. Get that to Basuma and to King. Get that to Mankiw. I think he's on side. I need something. Frazier at the far post. We put that in 15 minutes and we could possibly tie this game up. We don't have that much time, but we are known for late drama in this series. 15 minutes to try and get a draw. All right, Frazier is feeling kind of tired. So we're going to put St. Maximin at cam and put Dennis Mann at left wing. And then do I bring on Longstaff? Yeah, we're going to bring on Longstaff and then Lewis for Mankio, switch him with Brandon Williams. All right, subs on. See if we can salvage a point in this game. All right, time is running out very quick. We need to win this ball. It's a good ball into Tiago. Into Aspas, we need to clear that. That was very, very sloppy, but it does go back to the keeper. Nelson plays that to King into St. Maximin. Going to play that to Dennis Mann into King. Oh, that, that challenge was, that challenge was just amazing. Now that might be our last chance. That tackle might have just won Liverpool all three points in this game. And this man cannot head that to St. Maximin, into Thiago Aspas, into Sadio Mane. Brandon Williams can't win that. He does a little turn, but I think that is going to be it. And that is going to be it. So we showed some fight to score one at the end or close to the end, but it's not enough for a draw. Liverpool beat us at home. This game felt weird, but I think they just, they just played better pretty much. All right. So DeAndre Adlin has been sold. That is 3.8 million to our transfer budget. Yeah. He just wasn't going to get much playing time in this team. I think Krath is a much better right back than him. All right, so that loss sees us down in fifth now. And our next game is against Leicester. They're in 12th. A lot of good teams not playing good in this series. Three wins, 10 draws, and three losses. So that is very, very surprising. But I feel like this is still going to be a tough game because Leicester are still a pretty good team on paper. Spurs with an eight-point lead. Looks like they're going to be the title favorites this season. All right, I think we're going to go out with just the same team and see if we can do better in this game than we did against Liverpool. All right, a bounce-back win against a very good team team of Leicester would be pretty good for us. It'd be a nice feel good win. So that is just what we're going to try and do in this game. Give that to Brandon Williams. He has a lot of room to come forward. I don't really see any good crossing opportunities. Can try and cross it into Nelson. That did not really work. And Keo into Basuma. Frazier. Let's try and work this around. Get that to King. Get it back to Nelson. Nelson in front of goal just fires that into the back of the net and this is the perfect start to this game that we needed. That build up was so clean. Passing is just beautiful. That's another assist for Joshua King as well. Reese Nelson, our number seven, gets his third goal of the season and we are 1-0 up. Beautiful start. All right, they are putting together some decent passes here. I don't think they have Jimmy Vardy. I thought Jimmy, I think Jimmy Vardy was sold. I think if I'm remembering right, I could be wrong though. I very much so could be wrong. Nelson into Joshua King can try and flip that to Nelson. Nelson is just so quick and try and play that to St. Maximin. That's not a bad cross. The crosses in this series compared to my other series have been actually so good. It actually feels like a viable option. I'm gonna try it again. That goes out for a corner. Now corners are a different story. These never ever work and that almost worked. But corners in FIFA 21 are just back to FIFA 20. I just never ever score in them. All right, getting close to the end of the first half. There has not been that much action after we scored our goal. Good block by LaSalle is a very important block. But yeah, just not 
much happening in this game. Nelson, we'll see if we can liven things up a bit. Aiden has room for a shot, but that was a bit too powerful. Frazier into King. Frazier has a chance here. We can stop around this defender. Go for a shot. Frazier puts that in. That was created out of nothing. End of the first half. That is a perfect time to score. Taking a 2-0 lead into halftime. I don't even know how we created this. It was just a back heel from King into Frazier. And then this usually does not work against the defenders, but it worked there. It's a very good finish from Ryan Frazier. And we are 2-0 up going into halftime. All right, into the second half. Very good way to end the first see if we can keep this up all right saint maximin get that to king they're pressuring a lot they're trying to get back in this game you can tell frazier oh that's beautiful that is beautiful basuma is in and that is three nil to newcastle they were piling on the pressure that passing was beautiful and another goal for basuma coming out of the midfield that must have been like barely just on side because that was pretty close but that is a good finish all right 53rd minute we are three nil up so this is gonna be probably a very very good win i mean leicester are in 12th so they are struggling while we are very much in form so it makes sense for us to beat them we'll see if we can hold this lead possibly even build on it play that to joshua king yeah they're just pushing so many numbers up because they're so desperate and this means we might just pile on the goals james justin catches up to nelson so good there what is james justin's speed because nelson is so quick he must be very quick as well that's the first time i've really seen a defender like catch up to nelson you know james justin would not be a bad right back signing as well that is a good pass into osako we do not want to concede here Shar, beautiful tackle all right so subs almiron wilson and man for the last 15 minutes i would say this game is pretty much done and dusted i don't see us losing this three points at all all right come on i want to keep this clean sheet good tackle by mankio almiron into basuma can get that to the sub Callum Wilson this should be four and that is four nil to Newcastle this has been a comfortable comfortable win for us it's also good to see Callum Wilson scoring off the bench we need that striker position to have some competition between these two so it's good to see him score but this has just been a thorough thorough beating of Leicester by us and that is full time so four nil against Leicester at home that is a beating and it looks like just like that with that win we are back to winning ways all right so we are jumping straight into the Carabao cup quarterfinals against wolves for this game we got wilson st maximin frazier man chowdhury longstaff lewis fernandez lascelles krath and dubravka so quarterfinals we want to make it to the semis we've made it this far we beat wolves earlier in the season one nil so they're a good team but they are beatable we have our youth academy player callum walters on the bench might come in this game might not but let's see what we can do Carabao cup quarterfinals and i really like like these newcastle third kits the purple ones they look really good i like the yellow font on the back as well but we're playing like a semi-rotated team we still have st maximin frazier in there we'll see if our main guys along with some of the bench players can get out the win in this game and send us to the Carabao cup semis it's a good ball into raul jimenez he's had a very good start to the premier league season i think he's among the top scorers that is a good ball to neto this does not look good for us that's a good ball in dubravka is ready for it though all right, wolves look like they're here to play in this game that is a good one too wilson if you can get past him you're gonna be in callum wilson on the volley and we are one nil up in this Carabao cup quarter final all right callum wilson coming to life he's not scored that many goals in this series so far but in this episode that is two for callum wilson frazier with a very good through ball and callum wilson just has a one-on-one -on -one and he does what he needs to he puts it away 18th minute very very good start for us all right ball into jimenez they are putting together some quick quick passes it's making me very very nervous but longstaff gets that and now we can break again this is exactly how we scored the first goal we can try and get that to dennis man a very good ball and a very good first touch from him and try and cross that in what oh okay it was it was intercepted by connor cody i thought that was fraser's shot i would have been very upset if that was from fraser corner swung in callum wilson almost gets to that all right neto and to jimenez this is not looking too good I'm gonna try and get the ball fernandez good challenge fernandez has been pretty decent in the second team at center back he is a decent decent backup get that back to frazier slow this down just a little bit frazier has a lot of pace to get by the defenders though 
in to Callum Wilson. First time shot, and that is blocked by Connor Cody. All right, this corner is swung in. That is a very, very good corner. Fernandez gets his head to it, but it goes over the bar. That was a very good cross in by Frazier, I believe. But it looks like that is going to be the first half. So taking a one nil lead into the second half all right raul jimenez up to neto to start the second half i don't know how i did not get that but we do get this out no we don't mutinho good challenge by fernandez again and now we get this out yeah this one nil lead does not feel that safe because wolves have been pretty decent just haven't quite found that goal but if we score this that would be very good, and that is exactly what Ryan Frazier does. This guy has been so good in this series so far. That pace down the middle and the finishing ability. I think Callum Wilson with the assist, and that was a very good finish. I thought the defender was going to was gonna mess up that chance, but he did not, and we are 2-0 up. That is very good because Wolves were looking like they were going to try to get an equalizer pretty soon, but now they are two goals down. All right, last 30 minutes. 2-0 lead. We are looking pretty good in this game. And Frazier might be on side again. Could that be our third? That is our third. We are just in form at the moment. And Wolves, even though they haven't been that bad, they just can't keep up. This man, Frazier, is definitely in form. All right, 3-0 up. I think it's time to make some subs. So Almiron is going to come on for Frazier. I'm going to put Callum Walters up top for Wilson. Actually, we're going to put Almiron on the left. We're going to bring on Longstaff for St. Maximin and then drop him in the midfield. So that is what we're going to do. Last 30 minutes, 3-0 up. We are in prime position to head to the Carabao Cup semifinals. All right, Bettina is coming forward. I don't even know who that is, but he plays it into Podence and they get one back in the 72nd minute. All right, so we lose the clean sheet. I think it's pretty much because I missed the tackle right there with Longstaff. That is why they even got that chance. That is just careless defending from me because we are 3-0 up. But in the end, it probably won't matter. All right, that is a pretty good ball. Okay, let's not throw away this lead. Let's not do that. Try and play that up. That is a pretty good ball. Longstaff, I wanted to try and head it to Callum Walters. Good ball into Raul Jimenez to potence i don't like this good block yeah they are not lying down even though this game looks like it's okay that was just such a bad pass for me please don't concede because of that please please and we concede because of that all right adama triore scores but we are not throwing away this lead that is just not happening all right four minutes i'm gonna be the most the most safe with this ball that i've ever been we are not throwing away this lead it's just not happening not today ea not today no scripting in this game we are coming away with the win going into the carabao cup semis try to get that to callum walters to get a chance to end this game but that is full time and we are heading into the carabao cup semi-finals all right a little bit scary at the end a little bit but we do come out with the win i'm curious to see who we have in the semis because that's going to be two legs all right so let's see who we have in the carabao cup semis they should be set. Okay, we have Manchester United. Okay, so it looks like in the next episode, we're going to play Spurs and United twice. So we'll Sim Fulham, Sim Villa, and then we'll probably end the next episode after this Manchester United game. And then in the next episode after that, we will do the January transfer window. Complete it. So we're going to be entering the transfer window in the next episode. I don't know if we'll make a signing in these first four days before this United game, but we could. I don't really know what position this team needs most. So looking at this team, I want you guys to leave a comment on where you think we should strengthen, what position we should strengthen. Also, any players you think we should sign. I feel like Camacho might be recalled, so we might need another winger. And honestly, Matawake looks like the perfect replacement for Camacho as a permanent signing. He's 18 years old, 73 overall, 94 acceleration. 92 sprint speed 70 finishing he looks very good i think he might be my number one target because he's very cheap too and also the fact that he has a real face in the game doesn't hurt at all but anyone else you guys think we should add to this shortlist leave that in the comments down below so ending this episode in fifth next episode is going to be pretty tough with spurs and united twice but i think that is it for this episode so if you guys enjoyed this one make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video hope you all have a great day